Hello everyone, myself is Jamika and today we are going to learn about electroconvulsive therapy which is called in short form ECT as well. So first we will see what is electroconvulsive therapy. So electroconvulsive therapy is nothing but a procedure which is done under general anesthesia in which small electric currents are passed through the brain intentionally triggering a seizure which change a brain chemistry that can quickly resolve symptoms of certain mental health condition so ECT is a procedure right so electroconvulsive therapy formerly known as electroshock therapy is a psychiatric treatment in which seizures are electrically induced in patients to provide relief from mental disorders. Electroconvulsive therapy is a medical treatment most commonly used in patients with severe major depression or bipolar disorder that has not responded to any other treatment. ECT involves a brief electrical stimulus of the brain while the patient is under anesthesia. ECT procedure was first conducted in 1938 by Italian psychiatrist Hugo Chelsky. Next we are going to see history. ECT has a very fast when ECT was first introduced in the 1930s, it was known as electroshock therapy. In its early use, patients regularly suffered broken bones and related injuries during therapy. Muscle relax relaxing weren't available to control the violent convulsions ECT caused. Because of this, it's considered one of the most controversial treatment in modern psychiatry. In modern ECT, electric currents are administered more carefully in a more controlled manner. Also, the patient is given muscle relaxants and sedative to reduce the risk of injury. Today, both the American Medical Association and the National Institute of Mental Health support the use of ECT. So this was about ECT. Next we are going to see the parameters of electric current applied. Voltage should not be more than 70 to 120 volts and duration is 0 0.7 to 1.5 seconds. Next we are going to see the types. What are the types of ECT we can administer? It is unilateral and bilateral. Now let's see, in bilateral ECT electrodes are placed on either side of your head. The treatment affects your entire brain. You can see in the picture. In unilateral ECT one electrode is placed on the top of your head. The another is placed on your right temple. This treatment affects only the right side of your brain. Some hospitals use ultra brief pulses during ECT. This lasts less than half a millisecond compared to the standard one millisecond pulse. The short, shorter pulse are believed to help prevent memory loss. And bilaterally, we used electrodes both the sides, the right side and the left side. Next type of seizures, grinder seizures, tonic phase lasting 10 to 15 seconds and clonic phase lasting 30 to 30. Next we will be seeing First we will be seeing what is tonic phase and what is clonic phase. Tonic phase and tonic phase, the body 
becomes entirely rigid and in chronic chronic pain there is uncontrolled jerking movement in your body so what happens in tonic uh, tonic pain your body becomes entirely rigid and in chronic pain you will be feeling uncontrolled jerking movement next we are going to see mechanism of action as mechanism of exact mechanism of action is unknown one hypothesis stated that ect possibly affect the catecholamine mine pathway between diencephalon from where seizure generalization occurs and limbic system also involving the hypothalamus next we are going to see types of ect direct ect and modified ect in this ect is given in the absence of anesthesia and muscular relaxation this is not commonly used method now direct ect we are not giving now and modified ect is by drug induced muscular relax relaxation and general anesthesia next we are going to see the frequency and total number of ect frequency we can give three times per week as indicated by doctor and total number 6 to 10 and up to 25 may preferred as indicated next we are going to see application of electrodes so bilateral ect each electrode is placed 2.5 to 4 cm above the midpoint on a line joining the tragus of the ear and the lateral canthus of the eye and in unilateral ect electrodes are placed on the on one side of the head usually non dominant side right side of the head in a right handed individual and uni unilateral ect is safer with much fewer side effects particularly those of mammary impairment next we are going to see the indications what are the indications in which conditions we can give ect so in major depression severe catatonia severe psychosis with both schizophrenia and mania bipolar disorder in 2018 in category 2 they have involved bipolar disorder also organic mental disorder organic mood disorder and organic psychosis so this were the indications next we are going to see contraindications absolute is if patient have increased intracranial pressure we are not giving ect and related cerebral aneurysm cerebral cerebral hemorrhage brain tumor acute myocardial infarction congestive heart failure pneumonia or aortic aneurysm and retinal detachment so in this condition we avoid ect we are not supposed to give next we are going to see complications of ect life threatening complications of ect are rare fracture can sometimes occur in elderly patients with osteoporosis in patient with a history of heart disease this arrhythmia and respiratory arrest may occur next side effects of ect what are the side effects patient may have memory impairment drowsiness confusion and restlessness poor concentration anxiety headache weakness fatigue back ache muscle ache dryness of mouth palpitations nausea vomiting and steady gait tongue bite and incontinence next ecg team a psychiatrist will be there and a sociologist will be there trained nurse and aid aid should be involved in the administration of ecg treatment facility what are the treatment facility should be available the first one is a pleasant comfortable waiting room which is called pre ecg room ecg room which should be equipped with necessary equipments which is which include ecg machine accessories and anesthetic appliances suction apparatus face mask oxygen cylinders with adjustable flow valves cough tongue depressor to depress the tongue mouth gag resuscitation apparatus and emergency drugs there should be an immediate access to defibrillator as well and a bell equipped recovery room 
Next, we are going to see the role of nurse in pre, intra, and post. First, we are going to see the pre-treatment. In pre-treatment, what is the role of nurse? So, detailed medical and psychiatric history, including history of allergies, we should collect. Assessment of patients and family knowledge of indication, side effects, therapeutic effects, and risks associated with PCT. And informed cons consent should be taken, ally any unfounded fears and anxieties regarding the procedure. We should take the consent first and we should reduce their fear and anxiety regarding the procedure. Assess baseline vital signs. Patient should be on empty stomach for four to six hours prior to ECT. Withhold night dose of drugs which increase seizures, threshold like diazepam, barbiturate, and anticonvulsant. Do not give oral medications in the morning. Head shampooing in the morning since oil cause impedance of passage of electricity to brain and any jewelry, processes, denture, contact lenses, metallic objects, and tight clothing should be removed from the patient's body. Empty bladder and bowel just before ECT is required. Administration of 0.6 mg atropine, IM, or subcutaneous 30 minutes before ECT or IV just before ECT. Now, intra during the procedure, what care? should be done by the nurse. Place the patients comfortably on ECT table in supine position. Stay with the patient to reduce anxiety and fear. Assist in administering the anesthetic agent, thiopental sodium, 3 to 5 mg per kg body weight, and muscle relaxant, relaxant 1 mg per kg body weight of line. Since the muscle relax relaxant paralyze all muscles, including respiratory muscles. Patient airway should be ensured and ventilator support should be started. Mouth gag should be inserted to prevent possible junk bite. The place of electrode placement should be clean with the normal saline or 25% bicarbonate solution or a conducting gel applied. Monitor voltage, intensity, and duration of electrical stimulus given. Monitor seizure activity using cuff method. 100% oxygen should be provided. During seizures, monitor vital signs, ECG, oxygen saturation, and EEG. Record the finding and medicine given in the patient's chart. Next, post-procedure care, monitor vital signs, continue oxygenation till spontaneous respiration is started. Assess for post elect infusion and restlessness. Take safety precautions to prevent injury, sideline position and suctioning to prevent aspiration of secretions. Use of side rails to prevent falls. If there is severe post actual confusion and restless, restlessness, IV diazepam may be administered, reorient the patient after recovery and stay with him until fully oriented and after the procedure is done, we have to document, patient should be done. So today, here I am going to summarize my topic, today we have seen electroconvulsive therapy, history of ECT, what are the parameters of electric current, types of ECT we have seen in that unilateral and bilateral type of seizure produced in that clonic and tonic and clonic we have seen. Then we have seen mechanism of action, types of ECT we have seen, frequency and total number of ECT, application of electrodes, what are the indication, contraindication and complications of ECT we have seen, side effects of ECT, uh, what who all involved in ECT team, we have seen treatment facilities, and at last we have seen rule of nurse, pre-treatment, intra-procedure, and post-procedure. So here I'm going to conclude my topic.
electroconvulsive therapy despite its stigma ECT is still practiced fairly commonly to this day ECT is much safer than before due to the precision in administering electric currents offered by modern day technology which minimize side effects complications such as memory loss still arise in patients who are treated with ECT and this cause may people to oppose it not resisting the controversy ECT has the highest success rate of any other treatment for major depressive disorder thank you